All right, so welcome to our course under introductory analysis. And this video is supposed to be our first video under this course, or as far as this course is concerned. So in the first case, we are going to look at rare number system. And you all know rare number system before. We know the natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, the irrational numbers. And you know that n, after n represents natural numbers, w represents whole numbers. Then integers represent by z. And you have this, uh, you have the examples also there. And we have the rational numbers represented by q. We have the irrational numbers, all right? And that is represented by what capital R. Ah, very good. Now, there, there is, let me see, there is a story about this whole thing of uh, real number system. I would like you to go and find out yourself, all right? They say that there is a farmyard, farmyard, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Go and find out yourself. Very good. So, we have the natural number. So, the natural number is, is a subset of what? The, the whole number. And the whole number and the natural number is a subset of what? The integers. And integer, the whole number and natural number, they are also subset of what? The rational numbers. And in all, that is the irrational numbers. Very good. So, there is a, a story, mathematical story, it's a nice story. Go ahead, find out. Let's look at axioms of natural numbers. Axioms of natural numbers. Now, you are saying that one belongs to one natural numbers. Now, the second axiom is that for each element, n belongs to all natural numbers. And the third axiom is that for each element, n. Now, from your geometry, you know what axioms and proof, proof means. All right. You know that proof is there to prove, but axiom is just a statement. All right. Very good. So, for each element, n belongs to what? All natural numbers. There exists this, but this can only be equal to what? One. Four. For the pair of numbers, for the pair of numbers, this and this belonging to all natural numbers such that this cannot be equal to that. For instance, one, two, three, four. All right, for instance, numbers like one, two, three, four, five, those numbers, you know that one can never be equal to two, and you know that two can never be equal to three, and three can never be equal to four, something like that. All right, so that is all for that. Let's look at types of proof. Types of proof. Types of proof. Types of proof. And when we look at types of proofs, you know the first one to be. You know the first one to be proof by contradiction. Proof. Proof by contradiction. That is the first one. The second one is proof by proof by contraposition. Proof by contraposition. Proved by contraposition. And the third one is proved by mathematical induction. Proof, proof by proof by mathematical induction. Induction. In fact, as far as this course is concerned, we are going to do a lot of the proof by the mathematical induction, right? And you are going to love it. And that is probably going to be our next video. Okay? So that is that. Proof by mathematical induction, proof by contradiction, contraposition, and all that. 
I know you have come across all these things before, so or is there a need for us to solve some questions on it? I don't think there is a need to solve some questions on it. So you can go and prove on this. Let me give you some assignment to go and do it. All right. We know all this. You have heard of all this before, and you have proved about it before from your algebra, from your algebra, from your algebra one. Right. So the first one I'm giving to you to go and try your hands on it. This is just an introduction to the course of introductory analysis. So first of all, prove that. Go ahead, go and try on it. Proof. You know that already. I want you to use that to revise. All right. Proof that. The square root of 2 is, is irrational. It's irrational. Yes, we know it's irrational, but we want you to prove it. And that is all that we are going to do under this course. We know that this is exactly equal to this, but we want you to show us a proof. Right? So, let's go and use this to exercise yourself on it. And for Another one. Let's say that P for a right angle. P P for a right angle. Triangle. Proof for <laughs> proof. Sorry, two. Proof. For a right angle triangle, the length, the length of the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse is, is less than the sum is less than the sum of the two of the two other sides of the two other sides all right of the two other sides now you have time to prove but i would like to show you something all that we are saying is just simple we know that a right angle triangle is like this a b and c so you are just to prove that a plus B is going to be greater than what? C. Alright? Because we all know that the hypotenuse is always greater than what? This part. So that is what I want you to go and prove. That's what I want you to go and prove. So let me help you with the type of proof to go by. You go by to prove by what? Contradiction. To prove by contradiction. Alright? Good. So Another one that I would like you to also go and prove on it is, is prove that if there three proof prove that if prove that if S squared that if S squared is even, is even, then, then S is also even. Prove that if S is even, S squared is even, then S is also what? Even. Alright? And this one too, you will need a proof by contraposition too arrive at your final destination, all right? I just want you to feel the sense of all that we are going to do under this course by proving, proving, proving. So this is all that you know from your algebra one. I would like you to go and try your hands on it, and I will meet you in the other video for us to do a lot of this. Until then, know that you are loved.